Hey there Swifties, so last week Taylor Swift dropped a hella aesthetic track in the form of Look What You Made Me Do and I'll be totally on honest with you, there's no guitar riffs, I had to create every single riff variation I'm about to teach you. There is no guitar whatsoever, which I was pretty disappointed at, but the song itself has some really incredibly unique vibes to it, which I really love. I know a lot of people really dislike the song, but to me personally, I really enjoy it. I love listening to it, and yeah, I always jam to it. So I want to quickly play through the first minute or so, and then I'll teach you. So. The intro will sound a bit like this. So that was the first minute or so. So the second verse is going to sound exactly the same as the first verse, which I'm about to teach you. And then we'll go to the bridge, which I'll also teach you. And then chorus times two near the end. So starting off the track, it's really fun to play in guitar. The world of riffs, which I made. Uh, but I'm not playing with chords. Like I genuinely don't like playing with chords. I like playing with lead riffs. So this tutorial is all about lead riffs, which I created for the song. Hopefully it sounded nice. To me, I enjoyed it. I love playing it. I love covering this song in general. And hopefully by the end of this, you can play it like me. So the first note, which we're gonna play, is using the bottom three strings. So the, little, the low E string, the B string, and the G string. So on the low E string, you're gonna go to the 12th fret, 13th fret on the B string on the yeah B string and then 14th fret on the G string. So you're gonna play all those three notes in one motion. Well I personally like to strum it upwards. So that's the first note. And now the second note, you're gonna go to the foot on the low E string, fourth fret. Jokes, fifth fret. <laughs> Totally screwed that up. Uh, yeah, so, so do that little thing. And then 5th fret on the low E string. And then 8th fret. 10th fret. 13th fret. 12th fret. 4th fret. And then 7th fret. And then 5th fret. So the first variation will sound. Hopefully you got that part. And then the second variation of the intro is like, I got this straight from Ultimate Guitar. So it will sound. Sorry, follow voice playing. All right, so. On the D string, you're gonna start on the seventh fret. And now you're gonna move down to the G string, 5th fret, 5th fret, and then 7th fret, and then B string, 6th fret, 
B string again, fifth fret, and then D string, sixth fret, G string, fourth fret. And that's intro verse, two variations done. And now there's the verses, which I love so much. I created all these riffs by myself again. Uh, but there's four different variations. The first variation and the fourth variation riff are the exact same. And we're going to be playing all these four riffs twice to make up the whole first verse. So it's going to sound like this. First variation starts on the G string, second fret, so two, 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 five, seven, five, four. I'll say it again, so two, 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 five, seven, five, four. So that's first variation. Second variation, using scaling. I, because I don't like playing the same exact riff again. So the first note is different, the rest of it's the same. So if, instead of using the second fret, you're using the seventh fret on the G, on the D string. So seven, 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 and then the same uh, five, seven, five, four. Yep, so that's the second variation done. And then the third variation, what I like to do is do this. So on the D string, 7th fret, again, so 7, 7, 7, 7, 10, 12, 10, 9. And that's the third variation of the riff. The last variation is exactly the same as the first one, so two, 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 five, seven, five, four. So you mix all those four variations together and you play all of it twice and that will make the whole verse. Pre-chorus. A lot of people I've seen use chords. I'm not a big fan of chords, as you well know by now if you watch my tutorials. So I made lead riffs for them and I really like it. So it would sound like this. So we're starting it on the G string, second fret. So you're going to be playing the second fret multiple times. And then moving it down to the ninth fret. You have to use it. You have to use your music skills to count how many times you play the second fret. I could count it, but I'm too lazy, man. Come on. So yeah. So second fret, ninth fret, and you play the ninth fret twice. The second fret how many times you want to play it, but this ninth fret is twice only. So you play that three times, and then after that, you're gonna do what I love to do, which is. So it's like sort of like a tremolo pick. So put your fret, uh, put your guitar pick against the fretboard, and on the fifth fret on the D string. Ready. Jokes G string on the fifth fret, you're gonna see so you're playing the fifth fret around three or four times and then moving it down up to the fourth fret. You play that three times as well. So now we've done that, time for the chorus. The chorus, I made this entirely up, doesn't Sometimes it sounds really nice and it matches. Other times I play it, I just judge myself and go, dude, it doesn't sound like it, but hey, it's better than doing chords. So there's two variations of the riff. So 
this is the first variation. Second variation is. Starting on the D string, 10th fret. So 10th fret, 9th fret. So 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 7. So you play that twice. And then on the third time, you're just going to play the 10 and the 9 multiple times. Again, I'm really lazy to count it. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm letting it down because I'm not telling you the exact number, but just hear it out. Just listen to how many, t like how much you should play the riff for. So just keep going. So that's first variation done. Second variation is the same concept. So this time it just, it's just scaling. It sounds it sounds the same, but it's better than just playing this for the whole chorus. Like, that's just boring, man. I like variations. I like playing different riffs. I like, you know, fingering the board at different frets, not just the same thing. I like keeping it, keeping it real, making it interesting. So now, fifth fret again on the G string. So fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. 4th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, and then 2nd fret. Same concept again, you play that twice. And then the, on the 3rd go, you play the 5th fret and the 4th fret multiple times. Again, you have to listen out and just play it along. And that's the chorus! I'll just play it again just to make sure that you got it. So that's first variation. Second variation. And now it's time for the bridge. The scary, the, I call it like the Psycho Swift. It sounds really crazy and that like hardcore. I like it though. Um, <laughs> so it will sound a bit like this. I learned all that by ear, which is really impressive. I was really amazed at myself because I really don't usually. Um, Learn by ear. I'm usually a tap guy, and I learned that by ear. I was very proud of myself. So we're using the <clears throat> G string, ninth fret. You play that twice, and then on the seventh fret, on the D string, you're gonna play that twice as well. So, and you play that. So you play it twice. So. Nine nine seven seven nine nine seven seven and then nine nine again but on the third go but now this time you play the seventh fret once and then ninth fret once so we now moving up to the second fret Second fret on the G string. So now you're gonna get you're gonna play the second fret. And then fourth fret, fifth fret, second fret, one, 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 two. So playing it again. And then after that, you play that around four times, I believe. And when she's when the, she's having the phone call, that's like the ultimate 
Psychopath Swift. I l it's a crazy part. I love it so much. Uh, what I like to do on the electric guitar, I would go on the B string on the 17th fret and just bend it. Doesn't really have that set, that nice effect on um, acoustic. So low E string 12th fret. So I just play that all through the phone call. And then after that, it's chorus times two, and then you are done. So that was my tutorial of Look What You Made Me Do. Hopefully you can learn it now. Uh, again, I'm pretty myself again. These are all riffs which I created, except for the second variation of the intro, intro riff. Props to the person who did that on Ultimate Guitar. And hopefully now you can play it. Thank you.